Welcome back. It's probably safe to say that a lot of people have been impressed by those students from Parkland, Florida, who have been organizing the March for Our Lives rallies in the U.S. against assault weapons. But not everyone is making their mark at rallies and debates. TSN's Rick Westhead met another group of Stoneman Douglas students determined to show their resolve not by what they say, but by how they play. There are no words to help go through something like what we went through. You just have to be there for them and look for signs if they're willing to talk. You couldn't walk out your front door without being smacked in the face by grief. The Monday after the incident, we got together and we had a team meeting. They were talking about, uh, are we going to play? He just went to a funeral yesterday and, and here he is going to play hockey. We took a vote. I think everybody agreed that it was good for the boys to go and play for the school. Do you really feel like you guys went about trying to do this for the victims? Absolutely. Yeah, it was all for them. What else in your life have you wanted as badly as that tournament? Nothing. Nothing embarrassed. We couldn't do any better than just this. These are the Eagles. No. A varsity hockey team coached by Eric LaForge, representing Marjorie Stoneman High School in Parkland, Florida. Where, where are you not going, Ronnie? And in this temperate environment, a game played on ice has helped form a unique bond. Hockey's big in all these boys' lives. I've known some of these kids for 10 years or so. How close are you to this group? Very close. They're, I consider them my sons. To me, my absolute favorite part is just the teammates. Like, I just love everyone that I play with. They're all a brother to me. Yeah, from the beginning of the season, I knew we were a special team. I knew that we could compete with the top teams in our league. The team is led by Captain Matt Hopman and his freshman brother, Adam, as well as senior Joey Zenobi. And by early February, Stoneman Douglas was among the top ranked teams in Florida with the state championship on the horizon. Adam Hopman had high expectations for the championships. Winning it all, everyone knew that we had a strong group on paper and we had to prove it on ice. But on February 14th, Valentine's Day, on a bright, sunny Florida afternoon, the lives of every Stoneman Douglas student changed forever. Matt Hopman remembers it vividly. It was basically just a normal day. We did have a fire drill earlier in the day. So as I'm walking to my position for the fire drill, I hear one of my teachers screaming, everyone get back to your classes. 911, what is your emergency? My son is in Stoneman Douglas High School. He said he heard noises and pops, and he thinks there's a shooting going on at the school. And I heard teachers like waving their arms and like pointing to the direction to just run. And I kept hearing gunshots. Oh, 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 my, oh my God! I knew that this was just a tragedy. We are getting multiple patients left to the command post. We're going to need a perimeter around the school. We have parents running in the building. We just got texts from people saying, I just walked over a dead body. My friend just got shot. This is real. I held the door open for my classroom because I was standing next to it. And then I waited till the hallway was clear and closed the door, turned off the lights, and in the corner. How long were you in the corner for? From 2.30 to 4.30. Two very stressful hours. Breaking news, you might say heartbreaking news. 
Police say that a shooter believed to be just 19 years old opened fire at his former high school. At least 17 people are dead. Making this one of the deadliest mass shootings in American history. With the world watching, Stoneman Douglas mourned. Though no members of the varsity hockey team were hurt, they lost friends. Sport became an afterthought until the team sat down for a meeting three days later. We just kind of talked about how we were going to compete in the state championship. We wanted to bring positivity and happiness back to our community. And we just spoke about that and how it was our dream to win this. The thing is, we talked about that you're kind of representing a little more than just ourselves and the team. It's the whole community. And we all agreed that whether we went there and lost every game or whether we went there and won every game, that we are always going to walk out with a smile on our face. The Stoneman Douglas hockey team is in Southwest Florida for a tournament. It's the first time the players have hit the ice since the shooting killed 17 people at their school last week. The Eagles start by losing all three round robin games, making them the lowest ranked team heading into the playoff rounds. Disappointing finish here for Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School hockey tonight. I'm like, you know what, this, I think this might have been a bad decision. Like, it's too soon. I was very concerned that night, you know, the emotions of the past weeks catching up with the boys. Is there any part of you that's now doubting the ability to win the championship at all? Um, it was actually the complete opposite. We weren't taking this 0-3 and, and making it 0-4. and 4. We were making this a 1-3 and 3 and then a 2-3. and 3. Forward Joey Zenobi knew the team had it in them to win. Those first three games, they were just a warm up. We, we never doubted ourselves. We knew we, we knew we, what we could do. And you could see that they knew it was time to play and it was like a light switch turned on. They, they just came out flying. I believe we played the best game we played all season. They played played out of their minds. The number 17 keeps coming up. There was an empty net goal scored with 17 seconds left in the game. I just picked the puck up, went around one defenseman, took a couple steps and hit the empty net. That game was just crazy. We were just playing unbelievably. Nothing was stopping us from winning that game. Like, every time we score, like, I would get, like, goosebumps. With Stoneman Douglas up three in the championship game, the players couldn't help but reflect on the 17 victims. I do believe they were there. I knew they were there. There was times where I just felt like we have 17 other players on our team right now. We're at a huge advantage. I sat there in shock for a few minutes. And I said, you know, 17 angels carry them to that victory. This wasn't for us. This was for the 17 victims. We played for them. So passionate, so emotional. It's all for them. And after the championship medals are handed out, the team identifies another coincidence. One of the players on our team counted out the players and said, wow, like, this is just meant to be. Matthew Horowitz was on the bench counting the players and noticed that there were 17 of us and there were 17 victims that died. So we went back to the school that day and each of us put our medals on the memorials. taking the medal off my head and putting it onto that one, it was probably the, the best thing I could have done. It meant so much. That yeah, was unbelievable. That's uh, not, I'm not usually an emotional person, but uh, that was something to be had. Proud of them. Very proud, very proud. I think the community as a whole, it's going to take time, a lot of time for everybody. 
but for the boys to have had this weekend away and want to work for the same goal, I think that's truly pretty incredible. That tournament wasn't for us, it was all for them. That's what we had to play for, for our school, for our community, for the victims, for their families, for everyone. Stoneman Douglas went on to play at the U.S. National High School Championships in Minnesota. They didn't get past the first round, but as you've seen, being there together was the real point. We'll be right back.